Hey guys, Jonathan here with the Blue Wizard Project, just coming at you with the next part of my playthrough of Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Uh, so, uh, skipping ahead a little bit here, I believe last time I got maybe the spinning weapon? I can't remember. This game is kind of all over the place for me. Um, so, I can only imagine how confusing it is for you guys to watch. I feel like that's going to be one thing that's a huge challenge for Ian in the next couple of videos that he's making is that uh, he's getting out of the time where um, all of his games are uh, like linear games and then he's getting into the kind of Metroidvania era of Metroid um, and I think that that's going to be really difficult for him to edit the videos, at least it has been for me. So. Uh, hopefully you guys can make sense of what's going on. Uh, you can see that my weapons are still not great. I still need to level up a bit more. Later on in the game, I believe I can kill those guys in like one, two hits, but uh, not great yet. doing weird stuff back there. Um, here I have the axe in the game, and actually I found that the axe is... it's not bad, but um, the cross weapon is by far my weapon of choice. There it is. Uh, I need to pick it up. There it goes. Before it disappears. But this weapon, um, by itself, it's good. Not not fantastic. Um, the whip generally does more damage, or at least faster damage. But when you pair it with the magic moves in this game, um, the cross weapon, all of the the magic moves are kind of OP. I should have saved that until I killed this guy. But now I'm stuck, and if I get hit, I'm, I'm just hit. Killed them without that happening. Again, I'm recording the audio to this after I play the game, um, just because like uh, I have more opportunities to play the game than I do to actually record. Because if my wife is doing stuff, or if my cat's being noisy, or um, it's summertime and the windows are open, and if people are being loud outside, then I can't record because the mic is too sensitive for it. Um, so then sometimes when I go back to the videos, I don't remember what's going on. Maxim, are you alright? Oh, uh, Juiced, is that you? Yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong with you? You're standing around in days, leaves you vulnerable. I, uh, I think I've been in this castle before. What did you say? I can't clearly recall, but I think I've been here before. Your memory's coming back to you? It seems so. I've been feeling strange since coming to the castle. If we continue a little further, perhaps I may be able to recall something. Come on, let's go together, Maxim. No, if we're going to find Liddy, we have to separate. We'll cover more ground. Hmm, yes, you're right. Be careful, Juice. Watch your back, too, Maxim. Number one, don't know why I'm clicking through those so quickly. I think it's because, like, when I'm reading it in my head, it's fine. <laughs> but then I forget that, like, oh, other people have to watch this video. Number two, why would you split up in the super creepy castle? That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. That's just dumb. Like, hey, um, this place where things are always trying to kill us and murder us and such. We should try to do that on our own. I think that's a good idea. Kind of stuck in this corner. I need to get out of there. I need to just take the hit and get out or, like, dash. Okay, maybe I can push him back. I like some of the little touches that this game has, like that there's blood on the edge of this guy's sword, um, or just the scrolling of the clouds. Even though you can only see like the very top of the clouds, I still put the effort in to put some like scrolling. Oof, that's close. I'm not sure exactly what triggers what makes him stumble, if it's like every so much damage or if it's a timing thing. That was a close one. A couple of those were like right in front of my face. Alright, so I cut out some of the video there because I went back to the save point and figured you guys didn't need to see that. So, 
sliding. So we're getting a little bit better. Actually surprised how far into the game you get before you're able to slide in this game. So I'm going to go up to that area up there, uh, might go to a couple areas that I missed where I remember being able to slide, um, and then if not I'm going to head up to that top right corner there. Um, so I remember being able to slide in this area, this is that room that I told you before makes my eyes hurt just watching the ugly ass background, and uh, now I can slide through here, get this heart and uh, find this gate. Now here's the thing that's stupid in this game. Yeah, there are multiple ones of these teleporters and uh, everything else in games is like generally like, oh, if you press up, you'll go through a door, right? Like, makes sense. So you can use this to go through this like door and teleport. But you can quick travel between these gates by pressing down. But the game doesn't tell you that. You have to find this item that will tell you that you can do that. And I didn't find that item until way later in the game. So there was so many times there were so many times that like literally I cut out huge sections of this game, like big like half hour portions of the game where I needed to like backtrack from one of these teleporters to another one and just going through the rooms. And in a way it's good because like you level up and you get experience and find like, potions and drops and stuff like that. But, super annoying that it adds so much time to the game when that's something they could have just told me. Like, oh, if you press down here. Because there's no reason why I would have pressed down there. Um, generally, like, if you press up and that's how that works, then that's it. Like, I don't know. It's just very, very frustrating. So there's two ways I can go here. Uh, I believe the left way is this lava place and the right way is, like, a crystal place. And... Actually, the enemies in this area are too hard. Um, as you're going to see here, uh, sorry, I just remember this from when I was editing the video earlier. Earlier, these guys just keep blocking my hits, and like you can see, like they're wrecking me. Like I only got hit three times with that much damage. Um, the other way, not too much better. So I'm actually going to leave this place, uh, and I'll come back much later. Uh, when I have gained a few levels. And, uh, I believe I might come back here after I get the ability to double jump. There's this rock here. I need to break this. Can't do that yet. Can't double jump. See this guy? I'm like, nope. <laughs> he either looks like a boss, but is a regular guy. Yeah, I'm out. Okay, so. Uh, at this point, I'm back up north. This, you guys, if you've been watching the other couple videos, you might recognize that room. I always do that. That that particular candle, I always pick up and screw myself over. Okay, so this is the fire book, and this is going to give me some extra spells. Although, actually, I don't think I ever really used it because the ice spells were quite good. Um, I, to be fair, I didn't actually check what all the spells did, which was kind of stupid on my part, but. Um, and then these summer clothes, not so good. What does Dracula use all of these rooms for? Like, what's that, where, where, what's the point of those rooms? And how does, how do his guests that don't fly or, um, jump super high? Oh, did, oh, I keep skipping the item, I don't know why. Maybe this is where... Yes, I finally get around to picking it up. Um, but then, I don't think I check if they're any good or not. Alright, so you guys can see from that map that I'm like in this northern area. I'm going to take a look around here. Um, I don't need to go down here, I don't think. Maybe I missed something. Uh, let's find out. Sorry, 
excuse me. It's quite late. Oh, I did get to go back here. Monster Tone. I believe that just, like, is like a beastie area. It just lets me know uh, what I killed and whatnot. Yeah, allows me to see data on the guys I killed. I don't really know why I would care about that. Um, never actually checked it. Maybe it tells me, like, this guy's weak against this stone. Because, like, you can get, like, elemental stuff. Alright, so I need to go back up and uh, check out this top most area on the top right hand side. And normally I cut out my backtracking, but I'm so close here that it doesn't, you know, it's gonna take like 30 seconds for me to get back to where I was, right? See, there, I'm there. Actually, the Medusa heads in this game are fairly easy to dodge. That's one thing, like, whenever I watch him play the old games, that was like one of the things that always turned me off to Castlevania was dodging things like the Flea Men or the Medusa heads, like Speak of the Devil. Um, I just didn't like them. So but it's not too bad. Flea Men are still kind of a pain in the ass in this game, but by the time you get to a part in the game where there are a lot of flea men, they're pretty weak. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to come back here. I can't jump up there yet. A ring up there, but again, can't get it because I can't double jump yet. I wish that you could like jump and then dash uh, in this game, but unfortunately, it does not allow you to do that. And again, not going to cut out this part because I'm already swearing. Alright, so there's Convenient that those posts always fall from the left side, never from the right side. That convenient, I guess it's a coincidence, it's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so I believe in one of the other videos I died to this guy. Uh, it might have been this video, maybe I'm mixing my history, in which case, spoiler alert! I died to this guy. <laughs> oh, I can't remember, guys. All of it's blending together. Fought these guys so many times. It might be the old video. No, nope, it looks like it might be this one. Now I don't know. Suspense. Will I die? Won't I die? I think I die. Yep, I died. <laughs> so, um, I think I only died the one time to this guy. I'm gonna, I already cut the video so that I'm here already. Um, fight this guy again. Try my hand at the, the knife this time. Like, that's the thing that's kind of good about this game, is like, once you learn the pattern for a lot of these guys, then it's not too hard to beat them. Sometimes you'll still get in lucky shots, like, your timing's a little bit off or stuff like that, but, yeah, you see, you beat them there, no problem. Like, stuff like that, little touches like that, like, oh, he crumbles and you beat him, it's kind of cool. Okay, this door is locked. Alright guys, I'm going to head back to, um, I believe, the teleporter area in the next video. We'll see. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'll see if I can explain in the next video where I am, and we'll go from there. So hopefully it won't be too hard to follow. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, please remember to follow Ian and I as we go through this like switched up games of him playing through Mega Man 8. Uh, if you've been watching only for the Mega Man games, again, you can catch that game still on our channel. Just Ian playing it instead of me. Um, and then we'll go through the rest of the games as normal. So I've already finished filming as, the, as this video is going up, playing through Mega Man 9. So you guys can look forward to that uh, as soon as Mega Man 8 is done. So anyway, this has been Jonathan for the Blue Wizard Project. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.